lot's changed over the last three months. The cable's been completed, uh, the tails have been connected, the main cable is in place. So it's really the culmination of a great deal of work now. Uh, really exciting to see it in this state. And now's the really, uh, really exciting bit of loading it up onto the ship and taking it out and deploying it offshore. So lots changed. The scale of it is absolutely enormous, uh, both the size of the, the, size of the cable uh, and of course the facilities that you need to deploy that. CTC to be awarded the Wave Hub project was an extremely prestigious project. It's the first of its kind, that being Wave Energy. And we believe we have the onshore and offshore skills, including the vessels and the trenching assets, to do this project. It's a very uh, prestigious project. And we hope with the, uh, the green energy that's going offshore, that's been predominantly led by wind to date, that Wave can soon catch up and uh, even surpass it. So we're really excited about the future of Wave Energy. of time planning, looking at drawings, but when you see it in scale, um, you really get a sense of, of why it's an expensive project, uh, why it's taken so much time to develop uh, and deliver. So it's a really proud moment as we stood here as we look at the hard work that lots of people have put in to bring the project through to this point. It's critical for the industry. Uh, it's a critical part of developing the wave energy sector. Um, and without facilities like Wave Hub, we wouldn't have a sector. So when you've got a grid connected, consented test facility for developers to use, it can only be of benefit. So I'm absolutely confident that Wave Hub will play a critical part um, in allowing us to generate electricity from the sea. <laughs>